Welcome to how to compensate for composite shapes. I didn't even pronounce that right. How to compensate for composite shapes. Now, before we even begin, we need to really clarify what on earth is a composite shape. And the word composite means made up of more than one thing. Okay. The word composite means more than one. And so a composite shape, by definition, is a shape that is made up of more than one shape. And so here, we can cut it a bunch of different ways. I could have also cut it lengthways like that. But this, for me, is the easiest way. We see that this T is actually, if I cut it across there, one big rectangle and another big rectangle. And so if we're going to find the area of this, we need to find the area of the first rectangle and the area of the second rectangle. Now this seems like a bit of a strange thing, me doing these shapes like this, but it's a way of keeping track of what you already know, because it's amazing. Some of these shapes can get very, very complicated. It's a way of keeping track of the ones that you want. And so, let's write the, what is, if that's a rectangle, what's the formula for that one? And I'm going to put it in brackets. Times height. Oh. What about, what's the formula for this one? It's another rectangle. Base times height. Oh. So now, after I've got my formula for the first one and for the second one down, all I need to do now is substitute the values that I know fit into here. Now, this can get a little bit complicated, so we actually need to be quite patient with ourselves. What's the base of the height? The first rectangle. There's the height. There's the base. And so, it's 10 times 2. And I'm just going to put that in brackets. It doesn't actually matter, but I'm putting it in brackets just so I know that that button's done. What about the base and the height of the second rectangle? Ooh, here's 8, here's 2, and that will cover this whole section. So it's 8 times 2. So 2 times 10 is 20, plus 8 times 2, which is 16. Therefore, this is going to be 36 centimetres, centimetres, they're all centimetres, so we just double check because I didn't check that before. Centimetres. Now this type of composite shape is a composite shape I call an adding shape because it's two shapes added together. But what happens when you get one of these? This is a shape I would call a subtraction shape or a taking away shape because what we see, the last one was two rectangles added together. This is a rectangle with a parallelogram cut out of it. In other words, taken away from it. So the area of this one would be the area of the whole rectangle minus the parallelogram at the top. So this is why I say it's a taking away shape. Now the same as before, I'm going to put the formula into brackets, rectangle, base times height. Now I apologise because that's the worst rectangle in human history. Minus, and the, but that parallelogram is awesome. Base times perpendicular height for a parallelogram. And now again, we just substitute into the formula. So let's have a look at the rectangle first. What's the base of the rectangle? Oh yeah, 50 millimetres. What's the height? Oh yeah, 25 millimetres. Base times height is 50 times by 25. Minus base times height of the parallelogram. Base of the parallelogram, we look for the right angle, Ooh, there it is. Base of the parallelogram therefore is 30 millimetres, height is 10, 30 by 10. Now we can just punch this straight into a calculator. And let me show you something. You don't even need to do any working out. Look, if I, if I just put bracket. Now, these, someone's going to say, have you ever need to do these brackets? I know you don't need to do them, 
but it just makes it neater and easier to understand. And it's a nice habit to get into, particularly when we start dealing with more complicated uh, formulas. 50 times by 25, close bracket, minus bracket, 30 times by 10, close bracket, equals, oh my god, 950 millimetres squared, because it's an area. So, I hope we've adequately compensated for our composite shapes.